Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. You know what the worst thing about Bothans is? Whenever you get into an argument or even an ordinary discussion, they always have to remind you about the sacrifices they made to bring the Alliance news about the second Death Star. It's true that some Bothans died to deliver that news, but to say many is kind of an over-exaggeration. Many Alderanians died when their planet was destroyed by the first Death Star. Many Ewoks died when it was found out that their flesh was extremely delicious. But I get it, Mon Martha is an expert politician, and she wanted her little speech to be more meaningful and inspirational. So she exaggerated the Bothans' sacrifice a little bit. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. And Bothans will never let us forget about that. But what actually happened, asked one of our viewers, Timothy Robinson. Well, we're going to answer that today to the best of our ability. As we talked about in our last video, Bothans generally like to stay neutral in most galactic conflicts. They're essentially fence-sitting cowards. They believed in using covert tactics and their massive spy net to do all their dirty work. According to legends, there is one Bothan named Kothmelan of Clan Alia. His clan lived on the Bothan home planet of Bothawi, which was technically an imperial planet and had a token garrison and figurehead governor. But in reality, both the Empire and Rebellion had intelligence assets on the planet. It was essentially neutral ground for all sorts of espionage work. Koth's father was a teacher who disliked the Empire's ideology and went around educating his students about how terrible the Empire was. Of course, eventually the Empire found out and he was executed. Koth vowed to avenge his father and bring down the Empire. He became the Assistant Council General for the Bothan trade mission in the Mid Rim. The position allowed him to travel around without drawing too much attention to himself. The perfect cover for a spy master in the Bothan spy net. As the Alliance to Restore the Republic began growing, Melan became interested in the movement. Eventually, his spy network discovered that the Empire had begun working on a huge secret construction project. After a failed attempt to slice into the Galactic Empire computer network, the Bothans realized that the plans for the construction were being held on a special computer which was off the grid. At the same time, a powerful Black Sun crime lord, Prince Zizzer, began assisting the Empire's construction of the second Death Star by sending 300 ships. Through this lucrative contract of the Empire, the crime lord gained access to the Emperor and managed to convince him to allow the rebels get hold of the plans for the second Death Star in order to draw their fleet out into an ambush. He would also be the one who would inform the rebels about the location of this computer, so it was kind of a win-win situation for him. Zyzer informed Melin's Both and Spynet that the computer with the plans of the second Death Star would be transported from Coruscant to Bathawi aboard the Imperial transports to Proza. Melan sent a message to inform Princess Leia about the situation, but instead the message reached Luke Skywalker. After meeting with the Bothan spynet, Luke Skywalker, smuggler Dash Rendar, and a wing of inexperienced Bothan Y-Wings went to intercept the Imperial frigate. In the ensuing battle, six of the Y-Wings were destroyed, resulting in the deaths of a dozen Bothans. The Bothans and Skywalker brought the Imperial computer back to Kothlis, a Bothan colony, in order to slice its contents. While there, a group of bounty hunters attack the compound. Their mission is unrelated to the Death Star plans. They're there to collect a bounty on Luke Skywalker. During the gun battle, a few more Bothans are killed, including Koth Melan. But one of Melan's bodyguards manages to escape the conflict with the Imperial data. But another faction of Bothans under the command of Borsphalia intercept him and steal the data from him and deliver it themselves to the Rebellion and claim all the credit. Borst would go on into Legends to leverage his role in this operation, and eventually became Chief of State of the New Republic. The Bothans that died retrieving this information would go on to be known as Martyrs. They were greatly respected by Bothan society, and to marry into one of their families was one of the highest honors. But also, Bothan politicians like Borst would continue to use the Martyrs as a political tool to achieve their ambitions. The Bothans really knew how to make the most out of their situation. In total, only two dozen Bothans died retrieving the information. How many Wookiees were killed in the same fight against the Empire? How many Twi'leks? And how many Jedi? Now in Legends, it was also stated that Bothans stole the plans for the original Death Star and Emperor Palpatine personally visited their world and slaughtered hundreds of them. That, of course, is no longer true because of the Rogue One canon that replaces it. So guys, next time you see a Bothan brag about their efforts during the Galactic Civil War, remind them that those Bothans were just pawns in the Emperor's grand scheme. 
If you guys want to learn more about this legend storyline, just check out the Shadows of the Empire series. We'll link it down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. A special thanks to all you Patreon supporters out there. Just remember, never trust the Bothan, even if it's a baby Bothan. Shoot first. Thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.